Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So, one of my most highly anticipated story events is finally making its way over to the global side of the game with this upcoming Christmas celebration. And in today's video, I want to give you guys a quick rundown of all the relevant details like the free-to-play characters, the free-to-play stone count, and all that good stuff so that you guys are fully prepared and ready to go once it officially comes out on December 9th, 2019, which should also be the day when the uh, Christmas celebration gets underway for Global. So without further ado guys, let's jump into it. And as I said, it's coming out on December 9th, 2019, and the increased drop category for this event is Universe 6. So obviously, bring as many Universe 6 characters or units as possible on your team for the best drops. And uh, there are gonna be four to play characters available from this event. There is a Fizz a Hit, a Tech Saunal and Perina, an STR Champa, as well as the first Vados card in the game, the AGL Support Vados. And I'll get into their details in just a second, but first things first, a count for the free to play stones because that is of course very important to all of us. So as far as the stages go, we can expect one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight free to play stones there, not a ton, but we do get more from the missions as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. So a total of 14 free to play stones. Not the most from a story event, but um, I guess the free to play characters makes up for it a little bit. Maybe. Anyways, 14 total stones from this story event. And uh, of course, the four free to play characters, one for each stage, as well as Vados medals for the fourth stage. And uh, let's see what else there is. Oh, okay, so as far as these guys go, the STR Champa can be used to raise the super attack level of other Champa cards, of which there is only one, the Fizz Champa. So if you guys are still not um, completely done with the Fizz Champa, like he's not at SA10 yet, you can use the STR one to raise that one super attack. And the Fizz one's actually... He's quite good now. With his Awakening, he is quite good. He's the best possible support for a Universe 6 team. So uh, definitely worth getting to SA10 if you guys don't have something better to do. And uh, the Fizz hit here can actually be used to raise the super attack of the Tech hit, who most likely will be returning to Global with the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku uh, banner. If it's not, like if he's not coming back with that banner, then it will have been over a year uh, since he initially was released on global and uh, I think we should write guys. I think we should write like just I don't know, write a lot of angry letters or if you guys live in Japan like storm the headquarters and just demand Bandai to release hit again because it's just getting ridiculous at this point. But anyways, I do think that tech hit will be returning on STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku's banner so we can use this hit to raise that hits super attack as well as the AGL one from World Tournament I think. Uh, there's also the int one and also the str one from the str banner so uh there's that and i think that's pretty much it oh one other thing one other thing that's very exciting about this event is that it most likely does spell the official release or eventual release of lr kale and califla in the near future most likely i mean a lot of people at least are speculating for like a part two for the christmas celebration because as you can see, they require medals to be awakened to LR status from this story event. They need seven of the Vados medals. Of course, they also require some other medals from other story events, but the fact that they need seven Vados medals from this specific story event leads us to believe that the LR Kale and Khalifla banner is imminent on Global. Now, I don't want to say for sure. I'm not going to say 100% because anything is possible. You never know what Bandai might pull, but it's very likely. So potentially, potentially expect LR Kale and Khalifla's banner to drop on Global within the next, I want to say, three, maybe four weeks, almost like months, three to four weeks, um, probably before the end of the year. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure. This is a very, very good sign though. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to know from this page right here. And now let's move on to the specific characters. So starting with the Fizz hit here, he's called Quiet Bloodlust Hit. His leader skill is Fizz types, key plus two, HP, attack and defense plus 30%, super attack time step, 
Time skip causes medium, wait, no, causes supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. Passive assassin's territory changes int key spheres to rainbow key spheres. Medium chance to evade enemy super attack or attack including super attacks and attack plus 66% when performing a super attack. Medium chance to stun the attack enemy. So a lot to take in there. He's essentially a orb changer. Uh, he is also able to dodge attacks and also can stun the enemy both on his passive and super and uh, get 66% attack on his passive. So overall not too bad, especially for a free to play unit without a Dokkan Awakening. Um, and his links are Inviter, Experience Fighters, Cold Judgment, Tournament of Power, Warriors of Universe 6, and Shocking Speed. His categories are Universal Survival Saga or Universe Survival Saga, Universe 6, and Target Goku, which of course is not available on Global yet. And let's see what else there is. Okay. So Hit has an average uh, chance of stunning of 47.5% with a super attack and uh, can be farmed to raise super attack of other Hit cards. So that is the Hit right there. And moving on now to the Saulno, Sa Saulno and Purina. I can't read today guys, I'm sorry. Uh, leader skill, Namekians, category key plus 3, HP, attack and defense plus 66%, super attack, na Namek combination, causes supreme damage, and raises allies attack by 20% for one turn, and their passive actually gets pretty, um, pretty freaking crazy. So, first things first, attack and defense plus 15% per universe 6 category ally on the team, and key plus 1 and attack and defense plus 30% per Namekians category ally on the team and if you have a ally that is both both Namekians and Universe 6 then they actually get both of those boosts from that ally right so as you can see at the bottom here the maximum boost possible from this passive is key plus 7 in attack and defense plus 315 percent but with the current units in the game we can't reach that you know maximum ceiling because uh, we don't have enough characters that are both um, Namekians and also Universe 6, right? So the current maximum boost based on the units in the game is key plus 7 and attack and events plus 220%, which is still not bad at all. But just imagine in the future they release more units. I mean, I don't I don't expect there to be a lot of them, but let's say we get enough to make a full team of, uni of Universe 6 and Namekians category, you know, units. Um, <laughs> that's gonna be crazy, especially considering this unit does not even have a Dokkan Awakening yet, right? So I don't know what they're gonna do with a Dokkan Awakening for this free-to-play card, but um, I mean the possibilities are kind of endless, man. Just, just, just like look at how good they are already. But of course you do have to build a very specific team for them to get that maximum buff. So most of the time they're probably not gonna be nearly as broken as they seem, but still pretty cool. Still pretty cool that a free-to-play unit can get that high of a boost, right? And uh, Link's Tough as Nails, Cold Judgment, Tournament of Power, Namekians, Warriors of Universe 6, and Hero, Categories, Universe Survival Saga, Namekians, Join Forces, and Universe 6. Okay, so that is Saono and Perina. Next up is STR Champa. Uh, universe 6 category, key plus 2, HP attack and events plus 40%, Super Attack God of Destruction's Punishment causes supreme damage and lowers defense, and passive is medium chance of attack plus 200%, so every once in a while he'll be hitting pretty hard, but medium chance is only about, uh, I believe, tw yeah, 25%, so one out of every four turns on average, he'll get a crazy attack boost, but most of the time he's gonna be uh, pretty bad since otherwise he has no passive without this. And uh, links are Godly Power, Connoisseur, The Innocence, More Than Meets the Eye, Over 9000, and Shocking Speed. Categories are Realm of Gods, uh, Dragon Ball Seekers, Universe 6, Siblings Bond, and Master Student Bond. So uh, this guy is not very good. Um, I think his best use, honestly, is to raise the super attack of the Fizz Champa, but um, maybe he'll get better with a Dokkan Awakening. Now, speaking of Dokkan Awakenings, the only free-to-play unit from this story event currently that has a Dokkan Awakening is the AGL Vados and uh, she's pretty solid. So here is her art and her details pre-awakening, but um, nobody's gonna keep her unawakened. So let's talk about her Dokkan Awakening. 
Clear Path Vados, Leader Skill Universe 6, Category Key plus 2, HP, Attack and Defense plus 66%, Super Attack, Requiem of Destruction, causes supreme damage and lowers attack, and her passive has a high chance to evade enemies' attack, including Super Attack, which I believe is 70%, no, 50%, my bad, 50% chance to evade attacks, which is actually still very good. Universe 6, Category, Allies, Key plus 2, Attack and Defense plus 30%. So. Um, very good support obviously for the universe 6 category, not as good as Fizz Champa, but she also has that high chance to evade, so she's not going to be taking too much damage, hopefully, I mean, unless you get really unlucky, which uh, seems to always happen on like Super Battle Road and stuff like that, but um, half the time she will be dodging her attacks, so or her or the enemy's attack, so that's pretty good. And links are Innocence, uh, Brainiacs, Rival Duo, uh, Cold Judgment, Shocking Speed, Godly Power, and Shattering the Limit in categories at Realm of Gods, Universe 6, Sibling Spawn, and also Master Student Bond. So uh, those are all the units, guys, and that is pretty much all there is to talk about as far as this story event goes. Now, I said this is one of my most highly anticipated story events, mainly because um, I really want that Vados. And there's also a lot of free-to-play units to recruit, and you can also like raise all the hits, uh, super attacks with this hit, so um, just a lot of farming potential. It gives you a lot of the stuff to do. But on top of that, the release of this story event, like I said, is a pretty strong indication that LR, Kale, and Khalifla are uh, coming very soon. So um, <laughs> once again, I don't know for sure. I can't confirm. But I'd say there's a very, very good chance that we get LR Kale and Khalifla for a second part to this Christmas celebration. Alright, so uh, we'll see exactly what happens once it does happen, but just keep that information at the back of your head and uh, hopefully it does happen because we are definitely overdue for Kale and Khalifla and I would like to get them. I mean, I think it's kind of unrealistic to expect that I'll pull them. Um, the chances are still pretty low, but... I mean, there's always a chance, right? There's always a chance, and I'm probably gonna spend a good amount of stones on their banner because it's a good excuse to get gold coins and finally buy my first copy of Tech Broly. So either way, I'm gonna be summoning pretty decent amount on their banner when it drops. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know exactly what the story event is all about so that you guys um, are fully prepared, and hopefully I accomplish that today. Uh, that's gonna do it though. That's all there is to talk about. Hopefully you guys learned something along the way and enjoyed the video. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.